Hey guys, we are here with Varnish and she has a baby literally right here. And she's got some good contractions going. We have got the head out, but it's still in the bubble. So I'm just gonna spread a towel here real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this baby delivered here. That's a, not a small head. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to... Good job, man. So we're gonna make sure the nose is dry. And then we're just gonna get this baby right out here. And Ashton's gonna start drying it. Good job, Varnish. And the prize here is going to help. All right. Well, that was a nice, quick one. Don't eat my lunch. <laughs> All right. Um, did you grab with just the two towels? Um, I guess so. Okay. I was about to grab one. So we've got I'll two towels. That. It is lunchtime here on the farm, so you know we're in the middle of consuming food, um, and Varnish decided. Now is the perfect time to sit down and start pushing. So, of course, uh, we stopped our lunch break and came out to deal with these guys. All right, this looks like a girl. Yeah, that's a girl. So that's a girl, let me grab some more towels. Ugh. This is our towel rack where we have all of our clean towels prepared I'm gonna just grab this stack of four and stand on the other side of the fence and let Ashton do all the work. <laughs> and we haven't checked on. She's still standing? No, she's just sitting down. <laughs> all right. Um, we're gonna want to move her. Oh, Do you see how awesome this string she has? Yes, so this is varnish. Yeah, we're not getting back to lunch. Okay, so this is varnish. She's delivering here. And then over here we have Fenway, who is also about to deliver. We'll see her in the next video. And then in the end stall over there, we have Viola, who is getting ready. I'm gonna do a quick round real quick, make sure no one else is in. Okay, everybody out here looks decent. Everybody on this side, also not in delivery. So it's just Fenway. Okay, and I wouldn't be surprised if the surprise yeah. is not too far away. Heifers also. Just... <laughs> it's a nice cold day. Um, mm -hmm. okay, baby girl number one, um, did you want to glove up or did you want me to glove up? Um, all right, Ashton's going to get a glove on and we're going to go ahead and check Fenway and find out <coughs> where she is at. I'm sorry, varnish, I'm looking at Fenway as I was talking about varnish, because she also has a nice string of goo on her. Yeah, she's gonna be going shortly. So once we get all the babies out of varnish, we'll, we'll have a, a bit of a better understanding of our ability to go and take care of Fenway and Viola. All right, Ashton's got a glove and Okay, Indigo, do you want to record for us? Landon wants to come in here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pass the phone off to Indigo so that I can help with the All right, so we got Landon over here. This is his first um, kidding experience, pretty much. Um, we got Varnish and a baby already. Um, 
Landon's gonna throw hay over there. Okay. He, he helped me spread hay. Oh, he did. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's just jumping around. We're gonna come over here so we can see Varnish a little bit better. There. Varnish is yes, she has a V, so she uh, is very focused on food, and um, she is a licker. So yeah. Hey, Landon! She's pushing them all, so I might just let her. And she's had good contractions. Nice, strong contractions. Yes? Ooh. Santa goat! What? Go, More goats. Santa <laughs> goat! Yeah! Go, Santa goat! No, we're over here. Look, there's a baby over here, Landon. Landon, there's a new baby goat! No baby goat. Oh my gosh. That's... Yeah, come dry the baby goat. Come here. Excuse me. Come here. Come here. Look at this. Treasure. <laughs> He's like, nah. No, Landon, we gotta video this first. He's going to go do Dizzy Monster in the other pen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Are you spreading the hay around? Yeah. Good job. Don't let her stuff on me. Don't let her stuff on me. Yes, Landon. What do you have? Oh, did you get poop on your hands? Ask Uncle Emery to clean it off for you. All right, so for those who have not been following us or uh, don't have ghosts, a breach is a baby that is um, backwards. So their back legs are coming out first instead of their front legs. Ashton, there is a baby right behind you. And um, if they don't come fast enough, if they don't come out fast enough, the umbilical cord can break, um, and then they're trying to breathe through the sac and while they're still in the mom's stomach, and it can be rough. So we got to get them out fast enough that we can get them breathing. Um, and yeah. Yes, Landon. Yeah. Yes. Landon? Emery. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's yucky. Oh. A baby goat. An all black baby goat, Landon. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise, honey. <laughs> Oh, this one's tiny. Aww. It's not all black. It's got little white spots on the side. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> and it's like, don't put that near me. <laughs> it's, it's goopy. <laughs> it's goopy. It is goopy. It's yucky. It's yucky. It's yucky. <laughs> huh? God. Is standing over there? By a while. Yeah, hey, what do you want? What do you want? Is this slimy? <laughs> yeah, it's slimy. 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 Can I help them dry it off? You want to meet the goat? Can you tell them how you say baby goat? Hi, baby goat. It's baby goat's yucky. That's baby goat's yucky. Come on, baby goat. Come on, baby goat. Where are we going? Um, do you want to help Aunt Ashley get all the goats out? No, Lena, we got to film the birth. <laughs> Come on, Indigo. Sure this is the one I was feeling earlier. Okay. So we do have triplets. Um, do you want to leave that one? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So for those of you who watched um, the video the other day we did about surprise, this is surprise. She's pregnant. It's okay, he says. <laughs> Superman, one arm forward, one arm back. Leg, I mean. There we go. Ooh, broken, yeah. So, um, sorry, Emery. Um, okay, so this is a belted um, goat, which means that it has a um, white or different colored part um, on their coat all around. It makes a full circle. If it didn't make a full loop all around their um, back and stomach, then it would be broken. But it does make a full loop. So, yes. Is it a slimy goat? It's another slimy goat. Yeah. They're lanky kids. Did you check that one? It's a girl. Yeah. It's a girl. Oh, oh, it's so gross. This one's a girl. It's a girl. Yeah. It's a girl. What's you you want to go? Yeah. Okay, well, give Triplet us a minute because we got to wait for a second. Triplet girls. Oh! <laughs> We, um, yeah, just almost caught Ashley sliding and falling. Um, hang on, we gotta wait just a little bit longer, okay? Can you wait just a little bit longer? She can come with me. Oh, okay, go with Uncle, um, go with Uncle Emery, but avoid the stuff on the floor, okay? We're going with the baby goats. Okay. She good? All right. Well, then I'm going to go follow Landon and Emery. Oh. All the cats. Got a uh, sheep. Oh, she's peeing. That's a new one. <laughs> wow, God. <laughs> he does not like slimy. No, he does not. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Alright, so we got a lot of babies in here. Um, but these are the three new ones. The baby goats go night night because they're on the bed. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> makes sense. Are you going to try and get them to go night-night? Oh, he's telling, he's telling the goat that it's yucky. Varnish, this is varnish, it's uh, varnish, it's shipwreck. Varnish, it's shipwreck. Makes sense. Yes, it does. Okay, these are not small. No, they are not. I wouldn't make that considered large, though. No, they're very lanky. They're shit right here. Yeah. What? Oh, don't. No, don't do that. <laughs> Benjamin's like, what? You know what? On top of the table? No. No. You do not get to go on top of the table. You can go on the milk stand. Climb, climb on the milk stand. Landon, climb on the milk stand. So, update Ashton. Um, Landon is telling all of the baby goats that those other two baby goats are slimy. And he's trying to get on top of the table, and nobody knows why. 
Um, I lied. These are shipwrecks. You can open the door. She's right there. Careful, don't let the baby go through. Okay, that's... Ashton, help! With the baby. He's gonna close the door. Never mind. He's good. <gasps> that was so funny. <laughs> oh, and um, Emery spread out the sheet, and he goes, Okay, baby, let's go night-night. <laughs> Okay, so, um, what? Right, so Emery's writing down, um, what color the baby goats are. So, number one was a coup blanc. Number two was a broken black. And then number three was a belted black. Right, it doesn't have white on its face and highlights and stuff. And that baby goat over there, for those of you watching, is okay. She's just really tired. Um, she was the second one, and she was free. So, every way... I'm getting towels so we can do slime with babies. How you want Um, yeah, she was the breech baby, so it can be a little bit more difficult for them because it's, um, not as easy to slide out of the birth canal or whatever it's called. Oh. 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 You want to see mommy? Yeah. Too bad. Yep. We're seeing baby goats. Oh, she's mommy. 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 Oh. Nope. Baby goes staying here. That's your mommy. Can you give the baby goats a hug? No, it's your mommy. It's your mommy. Pretty sure she's still at the chiropractor. It's your mommy. Do you want to go see the ghost mommy? Yeah. Oh. Uh, he just kept pointing that way. I was like, yeah. Normally he points that way. Yeah. Mom, it's your mommy. Okay. Um, you can, I'm yeah. in it. Yeah. Okay. Make sure she's okay. And then if you if you're wanting to be extra, you can make you can lock the green gate in between the two. And it's castle. It is castle, yeah. Come here, go, castle. Come here, castle. Come here, mommy, castle. Um, Landon, the mommy is this way. There's the mommy. You see her? She's mommy? Yeah, you see her? She's right there. All right, let's go see the baby goats again. Hey. Um, uh, yeah. Come on this way, Landon. We got to give Uncle Emery's phone back. Come on, Landon. What? Here's your phone. What's going on? I, Landon does not want to see the mom go. Uh, okay, you're leaving. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's just us now. How's the view from right here? Not very good. You were very right. That's a better view, but still not great. That will work. Sure, just talk super loud whenever you say it. You are on camera. Just make a camera. I'm gonna try to not get my big fat head in the way. All right, so we've got triplet doelings. We're about to get weights on these guys. We need to get um, a bosi oh, and um, yes, this is um, bosi and iodine on them. Let me put it away before we do that. Okay. As I can, as you're continuing going. Okay. Because the first time I didn't understand what you meant, but then I got it. Alright, let me grab a tub to put them in. Do you want to grab collars? I think you've got it. Yeah, I'm curious to see how much this goes away. 
two. I don't want to be Williams. Hands and asses. Alright, number three. Wow, there you go. Good job. Number three weighs. Eight thirteen. So no, they're not that big. Eight thirteen. Yeah. Eight thirteen. Teal, correct? Huh? Yes, teal. Eight thirteen, eight two. And seven. Seven first. Seven zero. Then it was eight two and then eight thirteen. Do do do. All right, we'll need names for them. Um, have we had a Valentine? Um, I don't know. Uh, probably. No, there was Vanity, Vantage, 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 Varsity, Varsity, Vault, A, and I. Yes, we've had a Valentine. Um, all right, so we've had Valentine, so no there. Um, did you get them all I dined or no? Yes. yes. I thought you meant you iodined the umbilical cord and then cut the umbilical cord. Like, okay. Names, 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 names. So Ashton right now is giving these guys um, their BOCI. Um, so she just gave the oldest her BOCI, and then we've got the next two that both need their BOCI as well. Um, we're also going to be heading out and getting um, varnish into the right spot and everything. I'm actually gonna go do that now while she finishes up the shots. And then uh, we'll get her molasses water and uh, so this is her here we're gonna need to milk her worm her get her molasses water come on surprise 
I'm going over here. So I'm moving the prize all over there, over here. I'm going to move Fenway over in with Vinyl because she's going to deliver soon. And then lock that gate so that none of the other mamas can come in here and bother these two. One of the things we have to be careful about when we do this is oops, is making sure that we don't lock out the mothers who are kidding. So we gotta peek out here and make sure nobody's kidding out here where they're locked out until we can get caught up, if you will. All right, so there's that, there's that. I'm gonna check on Viola, who we're also expecting to deliver soon. This is Viola. I can't, okay, she's fine for now. And now we will get a milk pail and start getting colostrum and getting her her molasses water and wormed. All right, meanwhile in here, Ashton has disappeared. All right, so here's our kidding thing so far. We've got their collars prepared for once we come up with names. Names, names, names. Are you getting molasses water? Awesome. You don't have a pail together, do you? What? You don't have a pail together for milking her, do you? No. Alright, I'll go milk her. Um, and then, yeah, I guess there's not in then. All right, so we're gonna get some wipes and some dip. Um, we always wanna make sure, that sounded weird. Um, we always wanna make sure that we wipe their udders off, get it all cleaned before, um, before we milk any of it because we wouldn't want to introduce any bacteria into the mammary system, that would be bad. So we bring um, baby wipes with just a little bit of rubbing alcohol on them um, to help sanitize everything. And then um, afterwards we have a dipping solution, which is um, water with just a little bit of bleach to sanitize. All right, do you want to milk or hold the camera? Hold the camera. Okay. It means you have to talk to. Uh, I'd rather milk. <laughs> yeah. So, um, varnish is very easy to milk. She's got very large orifices and very large teeth. So, it's not very difficult. She wasn't? Nope. I just wanted to make sure you know I was talking to you. No, nah, I thought you were talking to the goat. Oh, she's too close. We're too close. Uh, backing up. No, I thought you would do that. Oh, too close again. Uh, so obviously, birth takes quite a bit out of uh, a goat, and so um, we try to replenish um, that. Um, one of the ways that we do that is with molasses water, um, and they one of the reasons is the molasses is good for them. It gives them the, some of the vitamins um, that they might be lacking, and it also um, gets them to drink 
a lot of water after birth, which is very good for uh, rehydration because a lot of times they won't drink before birth because they're uncomfortable um, or just because they're forgetting to for a multitude of reasons. But a lot of times birth can be dehydrating. And so um, by putting essentially sugar into it, um, it tastes better. And they uh, want to taste or drink it because it it's just a little bit tastier than normal. All right, so Varnish is a champ and just milked. That's a lot of milk. <laughs> it's a lot of milk. Um, and this is all colostrum. So, uh, yeah. Uh, she different? Yeah. Thank you. Oops, sorry. All right, this is just some bleach water to help keep stuff from getting her mastitis or anything. There you go, drink the rest of your molasses water. So now we gotta get these three babies first. Oh, I just passed it. They're colostrum, so that's what Emery's doing. He's getting some bottles for them. Back up. Did Barry and uh, they finish. They both got a the clock today and finished. Well, Not bad. we're back. That's fine. I can just tack this on. All right. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so, um, we didn't come up with names for these guys. What haven't we used? I don't know. A lot of things, theoretically. Hmm. Van. We've used a lot of vans. Um, I don't think of like one name, it's like Valentino, it's like a guy. Valentino? I mean, change it to Valentino. Valentina. Valentina, there we go. We got our first name, Valentina. Oh, what are you doing? It's okay. Valentina. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun to spell. Yeah, we go. Where's the permanent marker? Oh, there it is. I'm done. I'm sure it's a good one. Well, that it see. works. Well, then. Team. Is that our spine? Sure. Go with whatever. Well, I was spelling it. Alright, Valentina. Gonna pour. Um, Alright, Valentina, then we need a VE. Um, anything Valentine related that you can think of? VE? Mm -hmm. Not particularly. Okay, so we've got Valentina. Oh, poor. This poor little one. Let's tuck her down. Valentina, Even more uh, parameters than we normally give ourselves. Let's see. 
we've had a hole, so I'm gonna show you some of the V names we have had, just because I can, just so you can kind of see how many, here we go. So this is still missing a few years, but um, we start here at Vidalia and we go all through these and then all through these and keep going and keep going and keep going all the way down to Viola. So we've had plenty of V names. So now we just need to find a V, E, and V, I that we like. Um, let's see. We could go with Velveteen. Valentina, Velveteen. Yeah, I like Velveteen. We're gonna do Velveteen. Valentina. Velveteen. And we're going to do Velveteen. What? Every time I walk in the door. Valentina? Velveteen. Mm -hmm. According to Wikipedia, Velveteen is a type of bug. Uh, it's all these. Valentine. Name that VI. Uh, here's the bottle. Velveteen. Okay. And now we just need a name for this big girl here with the fancy white belt. Ooh, she's got a whole bunch. Okay. Um, do you like Bianca? Bianca? Yeah. No. Okay. We don't find anything else that's fine. We don't have um, one of these. Vikenzie? Vikenzie? Yep. That's what it said. <laughs> You're like, no. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, <laughs> Vicky, Victoria, all the, all of the, um, Obvious ones. Oh, Nina. How about how about uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna mispronounce it. I know, but it's a French village. Uh, Villette. What? Villette. Villette. No, not a fan. Sure. Yes or no? Sure. I couldn't quite hear what you were saying. Villette. Villette. <laughs> I don't know, it's French. We'll go with that. All right, we're going to go with that. I do not want that open. All right, we're going to go with Villette. How did I spell that? Or how did they spell that? Source of French language small town. V-I-L-L-E-T-T-E. Ashton's got bottles in the wand. Now all we need to do is get collars on them. The sheet is officially filled out. Yeah, focus. It's not focusing. Anyway, their sheet is filled out. Um, Velveteen is taking a nap. 
she seems to have by far the most difficult of the births. The other two are up walking around. Hers wasn't particularly troublesome, but enough that she wants a nap. How would you say that name? No. <laughs> Knowing it's French, I'm like, I don't even want to pronounce the T's, just an Right? I don't know. Good point. Hey, right, this is the belted one. There's Villette. So we got Villette done. We've got, and then we've got Velveteen and Valentina. This one's Valentina and that one is Velveteen. Ashton's gonna measure him here. Uh, we also need to, um, Worm varnish. Yeah. All right. I've got that. Just gonna put this over here and grab velveteens. There we go. All right, and we'll get these guys in a bucket so they can um, learn to rust a little bit um, and the, these other guys aren't trampling them around. And then we'll get them their bottles, which are ready. Sweet, and then did you already deal with this milk or is it still need to be dealt with? Okay, well, I was just gonna fold it inside out because there was barely any problem with it. All right, so we got a bucket for them and we'll get these guys into it. These guys could, I don't know. All right, oops, sorry. And number three. There we go. So you may think three's a lot to put in this one bucket. They're fine. They were just in a womb. Um, and um, they're not gonna stay in here for too long. We're just putting them there so we can clean up the room a little bit, get the bottles ready, um, and move forward. Um, do you want to worm varnish? As, okay, do you want my help? Okay. Ashton's gonna get varnish wormed. How's the laundry? The laundry's ready to be switched, which is good because we went through a bunch of towels and the milk is getting close. Oh, this one's heavy. We are, uh, that one's drenched. All right, so 
got three hungry babies. These guys, an, un an unfinished lunch upstairs, and a washer that needs to be switched and loaded. There we go. That's empty. I empty that. It's very tall. There we go. And now we can get the next one loaded. So we always make sure to shake out the towels first because they have a bunch of gunk and they pick up hay and stuff and we don't always, we don't want that just filling the washer. So we always shake them out and then load the washer and we try not to overload it. We'd rather do more loads than have any problems with dirty towels and stuff not getting cleaned. So that's all I'm going to put in there. And then shameless plug, we use goat milk soap laundry soap. <laughs> um, works very well, even on stuff like this. So that's how you know this stuff is for real. That's all it takes, just one little scoop like that. Put it in here and we start our laundry. So once that's going, we shut this because it's, it's loud and annoying. And then we can get ooh, the rest of this cleaned up. We need to sweep in here again, but probably not gonna bother because we're probably gonna have another kid in here in just a second. Let's see if I can put these medications away real quick. This is our Bo C and our iodine and things that we use for the kids. Get this over here, and our Bo C is a vitamin. Alrighty, time to get them bottle fed and to deal with the additional colostrum. This is all of the extra colostrum that she had, even after she had enough to feed her three babies. So, yeah, she did a good job. All right, so we got Villette, Valentina, and Velveteen, and their bottles are ready. So I'm gonna grab Villette's, and I'm gonna put you guys back down here, where you can see, She's like, I could eat more, I guess. 
Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and check her stomach and she's got plenty of food in her stomach. So I'll put her back into her bed. And see if she, if she's not gonna drink as well. There we go. So she's drinking too. And you guys seem to have no problem getting right on the bottle. Valentina, same thing, across the room, and chugging down on her bottle. So, all good eaters, which is a blessing. Sometimes um, you can have a perfectly healthy baby, and they just don't want to drink. Um, and even if they're hungry, they just they just don't quite figure it out. Um, so, it's nice to have babies that just kind of figure it out pretty quick. These guys also aren't fighting you too much. Um, so you typically pinch the mouth just a little bit so that they open it up and then you put the bottle in. A lot of times, um, some babies just, as soon as you start trying to open up their mouth, they start freaking out. Um, so these guys are not fighting us in that regard, which is nice. A lot of babies, sometimes babies like to drink sitting down. Sometimes babies like to drink standing up. Um, sometimes they like it sitting on your lap. Sometimes um, they like it if you're in front of them. Sometimes they like it if you're behind them. I typically prefer being behind them right here with them laying down. This is pretty ideal for me, honestly. Um, they don't tend to move around as much. They don't um, have the ability to fall over and lose the nipple in their mouth. Um, so I prefer pretty much exactly how she just ate there. She's also good for now. And we'll go ahead and put her back in her bucket and wrap things up. Ashton is also done feeding Valentina. So these three are going to go in here. These guys should be about ready for a nap next. Their stomachs are full and they're all ready to snuggle. So that's going to wrap things up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys probably pretty quickly in the next video. All right, guys. Bye. Work hard, get dirty, use good soap. Goat milk stuff! <laughs>